part 22 of the Stuart Major Beam Engine Rebuild. This is called Making the Water Pump Piping. What you're looking at is a temporary fitting. I'll just remove this piece of mahogany, I'm still not sure about that, and I'll remove the temporary fittings that I put in. Time now to make the proper fittings. It's quite a simple job. Over to the lathe, a piece of 3 8 bar in the lathe. This is brass, of course. I face off the end, then I use a centre drill to centre drill the end. The next thing to do is to slow the lathe down by engaging the back gear and I'm using a 3 8 by 32 threads per inch die in the tailstock die holder to cut the thread. And I can verify that the thread is OK by just checking it with a 3 8 by 32 nut. After I cut this first thread, I removed the brass from the chuck and measured it with a ruler to make sure it was going to be long enough to go all the way through the wooden base. When I figured out exactly what the length was going to be, I just chopped two pieces of brass to the length I required. Taking each piece in turn, first of all I faced the end, then I centre drilled them, and then I cut a thread on the end of each of them. Here's quite a good tip you might find useful. As I'm cutting the thread, to get the thread lengths the same, I'm using the handle of the tailstock die holder and allowing it to travel in the space between two of the allen bolts on the tool post as it cuts the thread. You've got to be very careful and knock the power off at precisely the right time, otherwise you'll probably knock the handle off the tailstock die holder. I've done quite a lot of this sort of thing over the years, so I do tend to stop the machine in time. As the video is running at double speed and sometimes faster than that, just to save time, I'd better explain what I'm doing here. I'm cutting a thread at both ends of each of the pieces of brass. At the moment this is still a solid piece of bar I'm working with, so I now need to drill a hole down the centre so it becomes a water pipe. Because this is quite a long piece of brass I have to attack it from both ends and I do use the term attack lightly. So I'm using a 3 16 of an inch diameter twist drill and I'm going first of all from one end and then from the other. And hopefully the drill will break through into the hole somewhere in the centre of the brass, preferably without snapping off. So when you think you're near the breakthrough point, take it easy. Now I'm repeating the process on the other piece of brass, so I'll end up with two thick wall tubes. As you're drilling these pieces of brass, make sure that you clear the chippings frequently, particularly when you get right up to the end of the drill. If you get past the fluted area, the whole drill will become solid with brass chippings. And if you do keep piling on the pressure, that would probably cause the drill bit to break in the work and a water pipe with a broken drill bit in it is going to be quite an ineffective water pipe. At this point this is getting very tedious, but in no time at all, as if by a miracle, the job is finished. The holes are drilled all the way through from both sides and we have a very good water pipe, which now needs threading at one end quite a long way down. So do this in stages, back off the die now and again, and of course you do need to run the lathe slowly in back gear, this is giving the wrong impression because the video is speeded up. This clip shows me doing exactly the same to the other piece of brass. I will end up with two pieces with a short thread on one end and a long thread on the other. Finding it really difficult to contain my excitement, I'm now putting the lathe into reverse and backing off the die. And now, said Dr Frankenstein, it's time to make a couple of nuts. Ego, fetch me the brass hexagon. The brass hexagon is put in the chuck, it's centre drilled and then drilled tap in size for 3 8 by 32 threads per inch. Then all I have to do is use a 3 8 by 32 tap to cut the thread, after which I can part off the nuts. I'm using a small tap here just to catch the nuts so I don't have to grovel about in the tray underneath with all the swath. And as if by magic, a pair of water fittings. I'll be putting the finishing touches to these and fitting them in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.